Our mind does not know the difference between truth and make-believe. So subconsciously, when we watch movies and we read books or we're observing other relationships, we feel such strong emotion when something happens to a character because subconsciously we're receiving it as truth. Well, welcome back to One's Journey of Unwinding the Mind and, of course, your daily microdose. Now tune in to the latest episode of One's Journey. Today I want to talk about healing through witnessing others relationships. So probably like, Ashley, what, what do you, what do you mean? So healing through observing external relationships, that sounds a little better, but essentially what I'm saying is that you have the ability to heal or forgive, right? When I use the word heal, I'm meaning forgive things from your own past whether it's this lifetime or even older lifetime, we're just more aware of the current situation. By witnessing an external relationship that allows you the opportunity for, to forgive, it allows you the opportunity for empathy and forgiveness. And it also allows us that opportunity to take a bird's eye view and step back and look at something that we are holding onto in a completely different light perspective shift. We talk about perspective shift being so powerful and it is. And when I talk about observing external relationships, that can be done through, you know, watching your own relationships nearby you in your life of other people interacting, watching movies, reading books, hearing stories. All of that has the ability for you to be able to forgive things that you weren't able to before. So here's an example. I've had a client and she really struggled with her own childhood in the relationship she had with her father. And when she had a child, she was very worried that she would become jealous of her husband's relationship with her child because he was so loving and present. And that's not what she received. This was legit fear she had. But unbeknownst to her, she actually felt an even more immense love and understanding by witnessing this relationship. And what it actually did was sparked her to go back and and forgive her father and begin that healing process as well. But if that story would have been reiterated in, in viewing this relationship, she just would have been like, yep. It's true, right? Like no father is a good father because that is the narrative that was playing. But instead she was able to observe that that's not true. And just because she doesn't, didn't receive it, her witnessing her daughter receive it is healing her in the process. She's able to, you know, that statement live vicariously through her daughter. No, I do not mean to make your child be like, Uh, an Olympian or things like that live vicariously, but you have that ability to live vicariously through others as long as you're not placing weight on it and you're really coming from an open place of understanding that we are all one. That's what it really comes down to is that we are all one. So her daughter receiving that and her subconscious knowing that we are all one and her being open to receive it in that moment, right? Because sometimes we witness things and we're not open to receiving the healing they provide yet. And our highest self will hold on to it until later. But she was open to receiving what her highest self was able to do by witnessing this beautiful relationship. So movies, um, David Hoffmeister is always using movies to more explain concepts of the Course in Miracles and explain, you know, the, the metaphysics and things like that, because it's so much easier to externalize it, to view something externally than internally, because literally that is what this illusion is, right? Our five senses are outside of us. They're not within us. They're meant to experience the external world. So we are much more able to and much more familiar with observing something externally and in in understanding it through that so by using movies and even books right when you read a book you tend to connect with that character and also our mind subconsciously 
does not know the difference between truth and make-believe. So subconsciously, like when we watch movies or we read books or we're observing other relationships, that's why we feel such strong emotion when something happens to a character because subconsciously we're receiving it as truth. So movies also, Patrick and I have talked to believe, can do the opposite. They can reiterate your narratives if you're mindlessly watching them. If you're not watching them with the intention of understanding and taking that bird's eye view, they can instead reiterate the stories you have when you are watching similar relationships. So it's all, again, about intention. But when you have intention, you can heal through observation of external relationships. And sometimes it's some of the best healing because again, we are trained to observe something and it have more impact than to, to know something and for it to have more impact. So it can be even more impactful for us outside of us. So that means you truly can begin to heal yourself and forgive by the other relationships in your life, by intentionally watching movies and taking time to bring awareness to what they're bringing up within you and bring awareness to the bird's eye view that movie is providing you so that you can begin to understand and unpack your own things that are holding you back. I know you're probably like, whoa, Ashley, that's a lot. But in fact, Think of a relationship you've had before where you went into it with certain expectations, but you also allowed yourself to remain open and you left with a completely different view of that person, of that relationship, whatever it may be. And that's a direct example of that again, that you went in there with the expectations of the old stories you carried, but because you remained open, they were able to change your story. So if you always think that, men always cheat, right? That was literally a, a very strong narrative of mine, but men always cheat. And then your friend gets into a relationship and you're like, he's going to cheat on you, but you also remained open. He never cheats. They've been together 20 years. And now you're like, well, maybe all men don't cheat, right? So observing your friend's relationship allowed you to begin to shift your narrative. And really you can only shift your narrative once forgiveness and weight has been released because when you're open to multiple options that means there is no weight on a specific option that you are open to whatever may be may be because it just is as always i hope this video is helpful please share has there been relationships that you've observed that have helped your own internal healing i would love to hear and again, relationships we observe also can contribute to our own hurt. That is a whole nother video. But if one is true, can't they both be true? They must be, right? Or neither is true. Ooh, so much love and light. And until next time, take care. Bye-bye.